Don't you mean pigs? Wedge! <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Palkifan08 and it's time for first boss in Baton Kaito's Turtle Wings and the Lost Ocean. It's hero time! Let's save the damsel in distress. It's you! Yes, it is a me, Callus. Time to kick ass. Here it comes! Alrighty, first boss. The Saber Dragon. And he's pathetic. I just have to say that. <laughs> As you see, Shella joined our party, even though we haven't really gotten her name yet. Shella is a magic user, and magic usually tends to be a bit stronger than normal weapons. Though, not really that much, but she can really dish out the damage. Oh sweet, I already got my camera. Always take pictures of bosses, or else no 100% for you. I'm not kidding, you will never fight a boss twice. Uh, well, uh, kind of. <laughs> The Saber Dragon is weak to water, so Shella already comes with a lot of Aqua Bursts, and you have your Ice Daggers, so those should do some very good damage. And to block fire, you need Water Armor. Oh, well that kinda sucked. Yeah, the Heat Robe will really not help me much. I'm glad though that you can actually throw away Magnus that you don't really need like that. I, I really like that. I wanna take a nap. <laughs> I love the voices, they are so fun sometimes, and so do she. <laughs> oh, maybe I should mention this. When you use light and dark based weapons, or spells for that matter, the screen will become lighter or darker, which, which really won't do much for battle, but it will change your picture a little bit. It's not a huge difference, but it's something at least. Anyway, you see Chella's middle card there, Dance of Light. It is... Oh shit. I thought Shella could use three cars. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was stupid of me. Uh, yeah, that Dance of Light. That is a finisher. Which... Kalos don't have a finisher right now, but... He will get one after this battle, actually. Convenience? I would say so. <laughs> Dance of Light is, of course, Light Elemental. Almost all finishers in this game have an element. There's only three that are actually non-elemental. So let's see if we can finally get get to use Dance of Light. It should do good damage, especially with Aqua Burst with it. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna kill him though. Oh, I blocked it. A finisher will, will of course always finish your combo. So you should always use a finisher at the end of your combo. <laughs> but that is really self-explanatory, I would say. But also, the, uh, the Dance of Light finisher is Shella's level 1 finisher. We will get up to level 9. Oh yeah. There's a lot of finishers to get in this game. Let's see. Oh good god, he's attacking a lot now. Oh right, he got a finisher too. Crimson Hail! Kapowie! Yeah, that did basically nothing. <laughs> okay, let's finish this guy. Ooh, bananas. Ah, okay, I'm gonna show you this now. Dark Flare and Light Flare. And, in the end, I did 11 damage. Just because of the non-elemental damage, which you will always get. You see? 13 light and 12 dark. And in the end, I only got one damage out of that. Oh crap, he's shuffling his deck. Yeah, when you don't have more cards you can use, you have to shuffle your deck. Oh, wowza. Aqua Burst is out the arse. Ha! <laughs> Sweet. Oh, you are so dead, dragon. Ow. Yeah, to be the first boss, this guy is, of course, very, very easy. Six, six. And you are dead. Just be happy I didn't have another six. Yes, he is. Bow. Ha! Sucker. I beat the first boss without even leveling up. Yeah, that says a lot about him. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Now you see I got the picture of the Saber Dragon. But if you go over here, you see that I get a Magnus called Blue Storm, which is Kalos' first finisher. Also get a Fire Burst and another constellation Magnus called Draco. And the picture of the boss will give you a hefty amount of gold, so you should really take it with you. Not bad. These fangs fetch a handsome price these days. Are you gonna take a picture of the fangs and say, yeah, I saw it. Graham. Leon. My, oh my. Look at what we have here. A load of fresh Magnus. These could come in handy. Yup, that's our hero, folks. Ah! Hey, you're stealing their things? So? They're my friends, you know. They were your friends. These won't be doing them much good now. We gotta do what we can to survive, right? Once again, our hero. <laughs> After all, I don't hear them complaining. <laughs> oh, good point. Besides, I'm not stripping them bare. Thank God. I'll only take what I need. Catch. You... Graham's pendant. Leon's bracelet. Okay, why do they still call her girl? We saw her name in the intro. We saw her name in the battle against the Saber Dragon. Your name is Shella. Just you tell us. Want me to give these items to their families to help them remember? Is that it? <laughs> oh, you're so naive. You know, I maybe I. That's your share of the loot. Enough to shut you up, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> what? How could you be so? I won't accept goods stolen from my friends. How insulting to the dead! Nah. Yeah, okay, fine. Hey! Wait! Don't go! Good god, her eyes are yellow. I should never notice that before. I, um... Thank you for saving me. That picture of her is actually a little bit cute. My name is Shella. I'm glad you came when you did. Eh. Yeah. I'm... I didn't fight that thing to save you, Shella. Oh, good lord. A saber dragon's fangs will fetch me a juicy sum. End of story. And that's why we would never see him sell it and we never get money from it. Ever. Um, you're from Mira, the city of illusion, aren't you? How could you tell? Because you have a guardian spirit with you. I knew as soon as I saw you. It's said that only the people of Mira can summon guardian spirits to this world. It's called a player. You seem to know a lot about guardian spirits. No wonder guardian spirits are so rare. This game isn't really that well known. In ancient times, at the threshold between this world and another, souls from both worlds would meet, their fates entwined. The visiting soul would become a guardian spirit, yet very few were able to hear a spirit's voice. And those bonded with a guardian spirit would receive great knowledge and power. <laughs> Callous, great knowledge? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's the truth. But I'm surprised. I thought that was just a legend. Some old tale passed around in fireside chats. Well, there's no way of telling if someone really has a guardian. 
I wouldn't blame anyone if they thought we were just hallucinating or something. Yep, I'm just a permanent fever dream. Right? Indeed, literally. So now Callus will start asking you questions that you need to answer. And when you answer them, it will strengthen your bond with Callus and it will help you in battle later. Which I'm gonna go over when we actually see it. Most of the time you want to say what you think Callus want to hear. But I per personally I prefer saying stuff that will give you the best reaction. <laughs> I'm right here. Your guardian? No, I'm the guy with the controller. I thought I heard a faint voice in my mind. You're crazy. Why is this in my head? I mean, you heard his voice? <laughs> uh, I was about to say that, oh, I, I actually do like the way that they, you know, make the uh, conversation not awkward with that they're not saying my name, but, uh,. Yeah, never mind. I did. Just barely, though. So, your name is... I'm Shella. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nice to meet you. Kinda glad I didn't say anything. Whatever. Nah, pleasure to meet you, too. <laughs> your voice tickles me. Uh Um That's kinda creepy. Hey, ever since I woke up at that village, you've been acting kinda of funny. That reminds me, Doc Larry Cush was worried about amnesia. Like I hit my head or something. Well I do have a headache, but I do remember who I am. Don't tell me you've lost your memory that happened before that? Is that it? Well, you already told me. I don't really remember, no. What? No way! You've got to be kidding me. What's going on here? Well, let's talk about this later. This doesn't look like a nice place to chat. I figure you'll remember soon enough. Funny thing though, if you say I remember, he will say the same thing. <laughs> hey, Callus. Say my name. I have to go to the ancient ruins deep in the forest. What about you two? We're headed that way too. You want to go together? If you don't mind, but before we leave, could you spare me a minute? Though it pains me to leave you here, my mission cannot wait. Graham, Leon, thank you for everything. Thank you for being my meat shields. Thank you. Cast light upon the darkened earth. Save those lost in despair. O oh, mighty ocean, guide us as we journey through the darkest pit of night. Okay. I'll admit, that was actually pretty cool. What were you... Callus, we should be going. And Shella officially joins the party. Very nice indeed. Biggs, Wedge, you will be missed. And when I say missed, I mean eternally hated. By people that want to 100% this game. Me included. <laughs> You'll see what I mean soon enough. 
So now that we have more party members, if we go into the menu here, you can use the C-Stick to change the party member that you're looking at. You can also take the C-Stick left and right to change how the menu looks, if you want more party members on or just one. <laughs> Little pointless, but it's, it's okay. So yeah, Shella joined us. She, as you already saw, is a magic user. And as I said, magic is usually stronger than normal weapons, so Shella is pretty strong. She's also pretty fast. She will probably be the second fastest party member in the end. And if my HP look different than after the boss battle, it's because I had a two second power surge. Of course. Thankfully, everything autosaved, so not really a huge loss, really. So yeah. Uh, Shella, she is your typical RP- Wait, 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 let's not forget to put Kalos' Blue Storm into his deck. It's gonna help a lot. You saw, 45 attack. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, Shella is your typical RPG heroine, really. She's a goody good and she wants to help people. I guess you can compare her a little bit to Farah, though she's not as hasty, thank god. So, except for that though, there's nothing special about her at all. Dot dot dot. Yeah, I, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not gonna say anything more, really. Sorry about that. It seems like someone really, really wants to break down my door. <laughs> Something is written here, but the sign is too dirty to make out what it says. Well, that was pointless. Now, you see there is a treasure chest behind here. I will not be picking that thing up just yet. If you open it, you will get a flame sword. Let's just fight this guy first. Yeah, you will get a flame sword. Which is one of many, many special Magnus called Aging Magnus. Which means that after set periods of time, they will change. The flame sword is just a normal saber on fire. So after a while, of course, the fire will go away. I really like this, it's actually a little bit realistic. If we go into Kalos' deck, you see he got some green bananas here. Green bananas, over time, becomes yellow bananas. And in the end, of course, they will rot. So in the end, you will have a lot of rotten bananas and rotten meat. <laughs> you can bet on that. I just love how they do that. It's they actually made it a bit realistic. Who would have guessed? Well, that is if you ignore the fact that you have food inside a card, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but of course, if you want 100%, you will hate aging Magnus. <laughs> oh, come on. That was stupid. Open this, and we will get a Fire Burst, level 1. So we get a Fire Sword and a Fire Burst. Gee, I wonder what the next boss is weak to. <laughs> you also see that we have a red flower here, which you can only use to save your game with. If you go up on this screen here, you will have to fight the next boss. Which is the first big boss of this game. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the village, use the blue flower there and go to the church. So I can level up. That sounds incredibly questionable. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys back at the Blue Flower in Sabalrai Village. Okay, so back in the village. Now let's sniff the flower and let's fly to the church. Yeah, you hear how weird that sounds? <laughs> but yeah, look at this. I love the look of this place. So you need to talk to this guy. Another adventurer? Do you stand before me in search of great power? Uh, whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? I don't get it. Where am I, anyway? Those who seek spiritual growth visit the church to pray. If you have earned enough experience through your travels, your prayers will be answered. This may be confusing at first. Yeah, I'll say. We're in a church with a huge blue flower teleporting us here. I will try to answer any questions you may have. What would you like to know? Uh, I don't really need any right now. It's really not that difficult to get. You you fight enemies, you get experience, you go to the church, and you level up. 
And also you find special items that let you class up. We haven't gotten any of those yet, but... Yeah, I don't want to say anything. Fine. Yeah, I know. That's kind of stupid that I actually have to. No, I don't have any other questions. Go forth and earn some experience. So that you may improve your battle abilities. Can I please level up now? Yes, thank you. We want to pray. It's only one level up, but it, it actually does help our st stats a lot. Just go down to Shella and let her level up too. You don't really need it to fight that next boss. He he is very pathetic, but uh, eh, every level helps, I suppose. <laughs> and also, before leaving, make sure you talk to this guy. Hmm, what to do, what to do? Huh? Come on. Hmm, what to... Seriously? I know you have an incredibly obnoxious and long side quest for me. Just give it to me! The hell? Okay, maybe it's later. Fine. It's kind of weird. I, I could swore I could get that quest now. Oh. Of course. Pardon me, young traveler. Huh? Could you spare a moment and listen to an old man's story? Hmm? Hmm? I suppose. I was kind of stupid. Why couldn't you just give me that quest when I was talking to him? I have a favor to ask of you. My name is Old Man. A favor? Yes, a favor. There is something I would like you to look for during your travels. Look at the ceiling above you. Uh, it's white. It's boring. Oh, you mean in game. Oh, fine. This is... This is the star map. Over 50 years ago, skilled artisans gave birth to this splendid creation. The starlight shining down from the ceiling was truly a sight to behold. One day, however, the star map was torn to pieces and scattered all over the world. As you can see, the few stars still left can only twinkle with sadness. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Why did I do that? I don't know. Whoa, I'm good. <laughs> I hope to one day restore the star map to its former shimmering glory. For this old body of mine gives, that is. Yet my wishes are but wishes. Then wish upon a star. Eh? 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 I'm too old to travel the world searching for the fragments. Yet a traveler like you. You might be able to find fragments during the course of your journey. What do you think? Would you be willing to search for the lost fragments? The 50 missing fragments of the star map has been scattered throughout the world. Yep, 50. <laughs> they are most likely in the form of constellation magnets. If you come across any of them, please bring them to me. I will reward you for each fragment you find for me. That is actually a very good deal. All right, so if I find a constellation magnus, I just bring it to you, right? Yeah, that's basically what he said. Yes, that's right. Thank you for taking on this task. Hey, no problem. I mean, we get rewards. We already have two though, so let's give them to him. Hello, have you found any star fragments? Yes. Hanover fragment. Oh, thank you. Let's see, today you brought me Draco and Vela. Draco we got from the Saber Dragon, remember? I'm truly grateful. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. Why do you think I actually found them for you? <laughs> Very well, let us begin the restoration process. Yeah, this is also a big reason why a lot of people don't get 100%. Now then. This should be Draco, I, I believe. Yep. And Vela. Constellation restored, Vela. That's all we can restore for now. Thanks to your effort, the star map is a bit closer to its original glory. Sweet. B believe me though, when that thing is complete, it is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, please take this as a small token of my gratitude. We get a shish kebab small. Yeah, I never said the rewards were good, now did I? <laughs> and we get a flame sword. Very nice. No, I, there's nothing else you can do. 
make sure you put that flame sword in your deck. In because next time we are going against our first big boss. And with the Magnus we got right before him, I think it's pretty safe to say that he is weak to fire. So I will meet you back at the flame sword in the Moongal forest, which I will get, and then we will fight the boss next time. So until then, I'm Palkifano8, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.